Hey guys, good morning. Uh, awesome weather out here in Hyderabad, and uh, we have a beautiful person who is joining in. Beauty is not about uh, his initiative, but also the way he carries himself. So, Mr. Uh, Balachandra is the new friend we have here, who is the founder of Abaya Foundation, and uh, the mission of this particular foundation is to serve with heart. and there is a meaning behind it so uh, we will get to hear uh, more from him uh, i've gone through the profile page abhya foundation website and you know uh, his facebook page there are a lot of things he does uh, hatke and uh, i've i've seen all the posts and uh, there is a signature style with his smile i think that continues everywhere uh, he drives and that uh, with that he is basically passing this infection to everybody uh, saying that you can do lot more uh, give back a uh, lot more to the society and do something in your own capacity so it's an honor having you here mr balachandra uh, so maybe you can start uh, you can tell our friends uh, more about balachandra his passion and how he got into it you're one of the uh, i think oldest ngo who is doing a lot and consistent lot of uh, ngos flourish and then fizzle out after a while but you have been consistently maintaining and doing this so we definitely would need a lot of insights from you so over to you thank you ravi garu It's a very happy moment uh, to have uh, connected with the uh, world tv and through you hundreds thousands and lakhs of uh, people who are watch who will be watching who are watching wonderful thing uh, thank you so much uh, while you were asking me to throw light on top of things insights i remember one uh, sanskrit uh, uh, poem which goes like this dehi ti vachanam kashtam dehi ti vachanam kashtam nasti ti vachanam nasti ti vachanam dehi nasti ti yadvakyam dehi nasti ti yadvakyam na bhu janmani janmani na bhu janmani janmani dehi ti vachanam kashtam o god asking someone to lend their hands very paining me very difficult to ask to beg and if saying no to someone who is asking me to lend the, my hands it is also paining me very difficult thing in life my lord give me that birth where i don't have to talk about uh, begging i don't have to say no to anyone these two words asking and no saying no to be deleted from my life dictionary not for this life every life this is uh, the prayer i always believe there should not be anyone asking something there should not be anyone saying no everybody should be happy this is the spirit of uh, abhaya foundation what is the purpose of abaya foundation if somebody asked me i should say no one should come to abaya foundation helping seeking help that means everybody is happy and this is the spirit Super. and uh, if i if i see back since childhood i am being nurtured by saraswati vidya mandir where i studied uh, my first class Saraswati Vidya Mandir was the first institution established by my uncle and known people, and including my father, in the city called Tadpatri in Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. That was the first institution established under the Swami Hindu Parishad banner. You know, they were used to tell us so much, so much about the patriotism, so much about India, so much about uh, you know, country, national good, national character. so these are all the things uh, made me to think differently at the age of 5 years i felt i decided that i should become a bachelor like alur sita ramaraju like bhagat singh you know like swami vivekananda this is the spirit they imbibed into my heart brain body and soul that's how i used to you know 
చిన్నప్పుడు చాలా మంది ఎవ్రీబడి యూస్ టు ఆస్క్ మీ వాట్ డూ యూ వాంట్ టు బికమ్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ ఐ యూస్ టు ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు బికమ్ సన్యాసి సన్యాసి మీన్స్ నో అటాచ్మెంట్ నో డిటాచ్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఈస్ మైండ్ నో బడి ఈస్ అవర్స్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ సో బట్ there are so many experiences uh, coupled with uh, things my mother used to complain about me and my going my way of life to so many elders in the house including kanchi paramacharya chandra mm-hmm. sarasvati saraswati swami gar came to our city our town for 40 days chaturmasya i used to go as a volunteer at the age of 14 or 15 years once my schooling is over i used to run to this uh, uh, campus where uh, chaturmasya is going on so my mother got some time with swami ji periya 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 swami ji and paramacharya jayendra saraswati vidyendra saraswati three of them were sitting in the room he she got hold of me and she took me to the paramacharya she complained swami ji see this fellow wanted to go for sanyasa every time he is bothering me bothering us so what do you would like to tell and swami ji looked at me very sensitively and he smiled at me and then jayendra saraswati told see you have to study well you have to be accomplished in your personality in life then society will give you sanyasa not now this is what he said i don't know what he meant that time i said yes swami ji i will do that and then uh, i did my science graduation law graduation and uh, i became the fellow member of uh, institute of company secretaries of india bsc llb fcs i did all this uh, by talking and then i started earning and since my young age uh, it is my dream that i should be a bachelor so i was bachelor lot of money used to come uh, so i kept everything aside my parents asked me that uh, when should i go for marriage when should they go for my marriage so i was little uh, you know pain i told them see my my way of uh, life is different so i would like to be like this uh, you know my mother was uh, started crying father said he is an advocate by profession he understood uh, what am i because there are incidents coupled with that also somebody came for a proposal and uh, without uh, keeping inform my parents it looks like i wrote a letter to the you know bride uh, uh, bride rooms right right so parents saying that uh, i am not uh, my my son is not interested to get married kindly excuse us uh, with my father signature this is what i wrote my mother was saying a couple of uh, months back so like that so my father said uh, as long as you are in the right direction i don't have a worry please go ahead but my mother was feeling uh, unhappy that i am going like this but somehow there was some uh, understanding agreement in in the family because ultimately i should be responsible for uh, father and mother i told them uh, this is what my life is and then i said family means what to everyone i say family stands for it is not uh, assembly of uh, people but uh, f a m y l y i think uh, you may be knowing f stands for father a stands for aunt m stands for mother i l stands for love y stands for you father and mother i love you this is the spirit with which i used to you know um, seek the blessings from my parents they said okay and that is where they performed upanayanam for me threat ceremony because i am not going to get married many people presented so many gifts so i converted them everything into cash in the year 2000 2006 it became a 1 lakh rupees then that was the uh, you know amount with which uh, capital i registered a trust called abhaya foundation abhaya stands for fearlessness an assurance of fearlessness this was the spirit you know and uh, i used to you know i, I had an uh, opportunity to interact involve engage uh, with so many ngos so many npos uh, including uh, you know you can say rss vishwa hindu parishad uh, satya sai seva organization uh, and so many other organizations uh, since my engage so i used to engage myself into so many other activities so a lot of insights uh, it has granted me so i used to say uh, i used to think what is the objective of this uh, foundation so i i said myself it should be need based not team based need means uh, if somebody coming to me 
saying that I have I have a problem with my family. I should be able to counsel the family. If somebody comes to me saying that I have a problem with the health, I should be able to do health issue uh, to be resolved. So that such things I used to because bhayamu fear is the you know basis for our services. That is why we called it as abhaya. Abhaya means fearlessness. Abhaya Foundation was established in the year 2006. And uh, since then, last one and a half decades, so much, so much work. If I see back, I am, I am ready to die peacefully even today. Because I am, I am satisfied with my life, whatever uh, I am able to do, I am doing. This is what is the brief of uh, Abhaya Foundation. Super. So, uh, how, first question, uh, you know, this might not be the forum, but how is it like, uh, you know, living, uh, you know, a single bachelor life with no no family commitments? Yeah, your parents are there, but how is it? A married man asking... Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know, many, many years back, many years back, uh, one volunteer of organization, Abhaya Foundation, has uh, procured the tune, caller tune, for my mobile. I think, Ravi, you also might have listened a short while ago. The caller tune goes like this, uh, and, and the volunteer says, it is best suiting your philosophy. So that is coming from uh, Prabhas movie. You know, Varsham, I think, Varsham or Chakram, I don't know. Jagamanta kutumba munadi eka kijibitam nadi Samsara Sagaram Nadi, Samsara Musunya Munadi. This is what it says. Good one, so if yeah. you say, I don't have family, who said I don't have family? I have a Viswamanta family. This is a you know, universal family for me. So I am uh, fully engaged. If you have only one wife, two children, you will have 100 issues. Then imagine if I have uh, 200 children around me, 200 people around me, 100 destitutes, uh, 100 people asking questions and uh, things like this. Uh, so how engaged I am into my life. I have no time for anything else other than service. Wow, superb. A anytime you, you felt uh, uh, regretted, you know, because NGO, running an NGO is uh, not, not a cakewalk. You know, you will run out of funds, you will run out of challenges, you, you know, people who are supporting suddenly, you know, they'll turn their faces and, you know, you will have new people who are like coming up, encouraging, but you know that, okay, this, this might be one time uh, involvement. So anytime you had uh, second thoughts in the entire journey? Never, never, because uh, I always believe uh, in a philosophy of Gita, karma vadhikaraste mafaleshu kadachana. Means what? You do your duty. Don't expect any result of, out of it. This is what uh, I learned in my life. So there were occasions, uh, I, there were negatives, there were occasions, there are positives. But the issue is, uh, I should not be affected with such things. Because with the intention, if in, I, we always believe, I, ideology of Abhaya is that uh, if intentions are pure, gods will start working for the result. If intention is bad, even if God, 100 gods come and stand by me, it is still a flop show. So let's have intentions pure. And uh, see, uh, establishing Abhaya is uh, a small uh, sadhana tool for me. So uh, it is not a life for me. With Abhaya or without Abhaya, I am a same fellow like this. I always engage myself into the work. So no result I'm expecting. Yesterday it happened, our newsletter Abhaya Foundation newsletter will reach uh, 50,000 people across the globe through various mediums. Somewhere, somehow, it reached uh, Jamshedji Godrej. I know uh, yesterday I we received an email saying that uh, they would like to have uh, the contact number of Balachandra. So I was a little surprised. And then uh, I has forwarded uh, the uh, contact. They called me. They called me and they said they have given some instruction that what uh, we should do. And then we followed it. And uh, there are out of such and such contacts, we also receive, please unsubscribe. Unsubscribe yeah. from email. We, we do accept that. We do accept this. No worry. Any, any specific reason you, you always wanted your mission to be served with heart? Yes. 
see when when uh, abhaya foundation was uh, conceptualized i think uh, it was the same uh, september month september 9th i think we registered the trust in, under indian trust act at hyderabad uh, 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 sub registrar's office before that during vinayaka chauthi at bangalore i called a small family get together of elders to discuss about my concept so by that time i i happened to meet and interact with so many people so many good people experts in the industry elders and politicians and saintly people like this so many people i you know consulted there were there were they were all saying uh, babu you if you wanted to establish an organization you establish in only one theme like for example i i cause cause of i cause mm. of orphan cause of education cause of health something like that but i was not uh, happy about uh, such one single theme so i started uh, you know uh, researching uh, on what are all the things that is uh, really needed so i found indian economy indian indian indians uh, in particular poor people middle class lower middle class uh, these people are being affected because of couple of things in their life first one ill health ill health is one thing which is bothering uh, everyone if if a fellow is earning 5000 rupees per month uh, taking care of four people in the family if he gets a heart problem what will happen for his family all his family will be shattered and such such health issues and second thing there is a lack of education in this country even after 75 years we are not able to you know dream 100% literacy in this country because of that a lot of uh, negative effects uh, came into our uh, situation now we are seeing the effect of uh, such uh, illiteracy and we are being exploited by so many people so that is the second thing uh, i got third thing lack of awareness in the country in the common man because he doesn't know where to go what to do how to do where to do why, i know why to do all these things uh, are not being uh, educated uh, aware by the people and fourth thing uh, people at uh, see uh, we are fortunate we are blessed that we are educated living in uh, most wonderful city like hyderabad the latest uh, wish to congratulate uh, the people concerned connected to that saying that uh, hyderabad is the first ranked uh, you know city of uh, uh, choose choice of living something like that uh, they came out good and but what about those common people who are just living uh, like a you know neglect negligible parts of this country in the rural communities so there is so much to do in rural communities until unless we keep rural communities uplifted it won't be real uh, india that is what uh, gandhi ji said gram swarajyam eppudu ostundo deshaniki swarajyam appudu ostunnattu ani cheppar so that is how uh, i then the fifth thing as long as we don't change ourselves in the process of serving in the process of helping i don't think we have done anything great so these five causes made me to conceptualize a mission for abhaya first thing i should work on health second thing i should work on education and empowerment and the third thing uh, awareness and assurance assurance fourth thing rural leadership and development fifth thing change that is transformation if you take the first letters of each word health educare awareness rural development transformation which will come to h e a r t heart 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 is our essence heart is our prime motto and that is why we coined it as abhaya's mission is to serve with a heart prate purvakamuga cheyali we should do whatever we do with heartfulness so what is meant by heart i just explained this is how the concept became if you take five years planning commission reports all those reports wherever you know the government is working now all these governments are working only on these five directions everything has to come under this now there is nothing beyond that if i i feel like if i am not wrong that would be yeah, the, these uh, these are the essentials and you know rest can be there but these are essentials which exactly so we we have uh, you know some rapid fire questions for you so are you all yes. set yes yeah so uh, who takes care of this strategy for this particular organization you or you know you have some team members who are also involved in uh, 
ఫౌండర్స్టాక్టింగ్ so now the family trust turned into a public trust real spirit so the moment i understood people uh, are able to recognize that was good work i have withdrawn myself from the foundation trustee as a trustee i am no more a trustee i am just founder that is a designation means that i i handled it that's all but the rest of the things being handled by office bearers president secretary and treasurer office bearers and chairman four people and then beyond them there is a trust of 15 trustees you know 15 trustees who are all well settled in life spreading across four states in country and then beyond them we conceptualized national advisory council where we you know involved and invited reputed personalities of repute to be as an advisors so that that is the you know structure of avaya foundation wow pretty structure i think uh, you being a chartered accountant or you know uh, learning secretary. yeah company secretary i think you know this this really helped you in you know, structuring the foundation properly exactly uh, how how does your daily schedule go now i uh, i remember uh, one thing one dictum of bhagwan sachi sai baba i heard it from his uh, mouth personal interaction during one of uh, the interviews uh, swami asked uh, how one should lead the life daily life how he should handle 24 hours it was long back maybe three decades back i happened to hear such thing swami said how, how many hours per day we we was answered 24 hours then swami said divided by 6 uh, divided by 4 means uh, for 6 yeah 24 first 6 hours sleep next 6 hours self next 6 hours service like employment your work and the last 6 hours help this 24 hours so I, even if you go for 8 hours work effectively you will be working only for 6 hours rest of the things your personal phone calls personal mails personal interaction <laughs> and coffee chai you know biscuit uh, all these things will happen effectively 6 hours you will work 6 hours sleep that is how i am i am trying to maintain it in a true spirit because i sleep at around 12 o'clock in the midnight i wake up around 6 to 6:30 and then i'll go for a walk maybe 45 minutes and then 15 20 minutes yoga and this is happening for the last one year or two years or so previously i was not like uh, yoga and walking because i am crossed 50 many of the velvisher signs boss you do something for yourself that's a you know by force uh, something happened so at 8 uh, o'clock i am here at, this is what you are seeing is uh, abaya home of happiness it is a destitute home and uh, empowerment campus in hyderabad ibrahim patnam i started staying here for the last one year Uh, when i crossed my 50th year i said i should come for vanaprastha i i left all my you know uh, city life and i started living here so the bell rang, rings at 8 o'clock for breakfast i'll have my breakfast and then i will engage myself into listening coordinating the activities uh, through phone because of pandemic uh, you know uh, this one and then uh, around 1 o'clock again bell and it's lunch time and then uh, 4 o'clock uh, tea time and then uh, 7 o'clock 6:30 is a prayer session veda prayer bhajan and bhashan and bhojan all these things will go for 2 hours 9 o'clock uh, lights off i will still work 9 to 12 i'll be working 12 o'clock i will sleep this is the spirit uh, and if you can see whatsapp or uh, you know facebook or whatever everything like oh, so many activities will be happening and so activities will be you know uh, engage in, i will be engaged in such activities yeah so how how uh, helpful i mean your, your comments or your preview on uh, social media how how has it helped or do you think that it is good bad 
<laughs> see sir, what is happening social media is all limited to likes likes and shares forwards hmm. no action no action that is what i have seen you know a uh, uh, couple of volunteers are helping us from facebook you know facebook they are working there they are trying to boost with their uh, you know limited credit credits that they are trying to boost so somebody is boosting and uh, we have just shared andhra pradesh uh, uh, you know flood relief activities post asking for donation you know what around 2 lakh people had seen this post hmm. boosting now uh, no not even a single uh, action i have seen yeah so okay. social media is for awareness and uh, bad things will go for fire but yeah. good things will go for uh, you know side it will be sided that's okay but still like we keep engaged in social media because uh, it also brings us uh, good awareness knowledge for so many new people so that's how it is uh, okay personally what what has been your experience with fundraising you know do you uh, ups and downs you would have seen you know this this is more for the ngos out there who are in a similar activity this this would really help you see but, uh, if i if i am very honest with the viewers and uh, work tv and you i always reiterate if intentions are pure gods will start working Mm-hmm. this is the spirit this is the belief this is the reality this is the result for the last one and half decades of abaya foundation we never had a problem with funds because uh, i remember vividly how uh, yinadu sunday magazine published uh, our story in the year 2012 in sunday magazine as mahimalunna chetulu uh, they yes, they have uh, published only 22 stories in the entire sunday magazine uh, because january 1st 2012 was sunday so they have uh, you know short, uh, screened 22 stories all 22 pages are filled with that i received uh, 600 uh, calls during that time saying that wow wonderful sir we need to help like that one one particular incident i'll tell you this lady called me saying that uh, uh, babu i wanted to see you where is your house i i told and she called me four times i was little irritated are boss where to uh, i should handle so many calls amma i told you na why can't you uh, understand she told see i am a elderly lady you cannot shout at me you should not be angered with me so you have to tell me what is the right uh, direction so i she came then i realized she is 75 years old lady my god she touched for me and she came to me she you know seated my cheeks and uh, hugged me and said babu i would like to give you every month some support and she started giving 5000 rupees per month which is about 60000 rupees per annum for last how many years 10 years wow such examples are in plenty in plenty and uh, thanks to companies act 2013 wherein amendment to the companies act been carried out uh, new companies act provisions came out uh, under section 135 of the companies act every company whoever is earning a profit of 2 uh, crores or 5 crores whatever based on turnover based on the uh, public capital they should contribute 2% of their net profit to society community right. activity yes sir activity it, it really became a wonderful uh, tool for us uh, because most of our uh, trustees are company secretaries are chartered accountants are advocates are industrialists are corporate promoters connected every company secretary will have a you know connectivity with at least 10 15 20 promoters good promoters even if you are able to tap one of them one from all this group our fund requirement is being matched since last 7 uh, years we could have empowered at least 10000 youngsters in the country particularly in south indian states uh, that is andhra telangana karnataka tamil nadu <coughs> this is how they are they used to fund us we used to empower the youngsters and we never had a problem so but still if you want to do more more number of good people to join this is the spirit this is a hunger yeah what 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 is required i mean based on your experience what are the qualities required for a person who is running an ngo it might be a small uh, non profit or a large one 
but you know there are a lot of people who are struggling in terms of managing so what what are the qualities for a leader <laughs> see if if you ask me such question i remember there are 30 lakhs and odd ngos available in the country right 30 lakhs that is not a small number but what is happening very few ngos are working appropriately other ngos are being you know uh, taken birth because of various reasons but as per your question goes i should say there must be intention of doing good if intention is not good no ngo will survive number 1 number 2 there must be transparency in our work number 3 there must be accountability number 4 there must not be any connected connection with the caste creed color religion reason season fusion language barriers manavata drupadam undali human human touch should be there and the fifth thing is selflessness selflessness i so these are all five essentials that each ngo should have in my own understanding because of that only lot of ngos just now i was reading a small magazine sunday magazine they were talking about uh, billionaires uh, who, who uh, babas who became billionaires uh, something like that so i many things will happen and uh, very few organizations ngos uh, will run properly so and if say what are the essential for leader i don't agree the term called leader at all there is no leader in the ngo everybody should uh, treat himself or themselves as a ladder not leader they are the people who can uh, bridge the gap between the rich and poor they are the people who can uh, lay their lives uh, to someone uh, who can uh, you know cross over their difficulties so they should not be leaders they should be lonely ladders right. and in fact uh, these leaders the so called ladders should be like a pleaders for the community pleaders that means who can take the cause on their shoulders take up one cause at a time uh, think of that uh, drink of that uh, dance on that walk on that talk on that this is what swami vivekananda said the idea becomes you you become that idea that is how it is so there must be pleader for the cause leader for the cause ladder for the cause these are all essentials okay uh, do do balakrishna balachandra also focuses on entertainment do you do you give time for entertainment or that's completely yes. off the books of course entertainment is see there, there are uh, uh, issues <coughs> if i am uh, alone if i am alone i can read good books i can watch some uh, you know tv shows uh, otherwise how do i know what is happening in the country you know i i do like our brahmanandam uh, you know uh, shows uh, very much uh, no doubt about it uh, he is like my inspiration you know uh, like that yeah we, we, the the camera tilted uh, towards the other direction uh, i think uh, current is uh, off uh, here so battery is drained okay so th- there is a yeah this okay. this is fine so yeah uh, your personal interests and hobbies you know apart from ngo apart from you know uh, the knowledge which you have acquired you know personally what would do you do i mean like one of the things which you were talking about the second six hours you said after sleeping is uh, you know about self so yeah yeah so about self you know how how what are your hobbies and personal interests what do you like dislike i'm there is nothing no shift in second innings it's 50 years over any time i will die i am sure i am not going to live for next 50 years i am going to die every day i start my day that this is the last day i am going to die i should do something so my passion and in the stomach compassion in the heart innovation in the brain make me no sleep you know always think what i can do so about 4 years back 5 uh, years back uh, i see i am uh, like my hobby is uh, making best use of uh, mobile smartphone 
so i normally capture wonderful photographs uh, videos and all just now i uploaded uh, a video on uh, din dayal upadhyaya say oh, his personality his mission in life so i capture the photos and uh, i keep my heart brain and soul on the photo how can i bring uh, a original thought no copy paste like that i started sunday thoughts every sunday i keep posting one thought so this is how it goes uh, you know a lot of thoughts uh, Wow. is about parent parents means pay rent till the last breath so like that every sunday i keep uh, one uh, post last 5 years uh, and someone uh, inspired by this thought of sunday and started composing telugu poems uh, on my name they uh, they written about 108 poems uh, which was uh, you know launched by sri sri ravi shankar last year this wow. book was launched and i am a extensive traveler in the last 10 years i might have traveled around uh, 10 lakh kilometers in my cars one each car will give me 3 lakhs kilometers travel apart from bus apart from train flight all those things i might have interacted with at least 15 20 lakhs of uh, people kg to pg irrespective of age caste cadder religion reason season across the country even if i don't know english uh, the local language i make other fellow to translate my thing so last year uh, may 2019 i undertook uh, you know bharat darshan you know uh, 180 days long uh, bharat darshan like a common man a beggar on the road i traveled uh, 23 states uh, four countries wow. uh, and uh, 180 days uh, kashmir to kanyakumari covered in covering in uh, covering the places in shankaracharya route so i happened to gain so many experiences so i titled this uh, book as bharat darshan which was uh, again launched by chinnaji swami ji uh, last e this year february you know uh, 2020 in the presence wow. of uh, tamil sai saundar rajan so this book uh, these two books are being made available getting donations for abhaya anantapuram project where we are constructing 2 and 1/2 crores worth uh, youth empowerment campus so it is 90% com- we need around 15 to 25 lakhs so that uh, amount uh, goes to this uh, uh, you know through these books and then last pandemic at 9 months i resolved myself that i should do something for the community of the students so i started uh, jotting down all my interactions what are all the questions posed to me by the, uh, the students teachers parents uh, in the last 20 years so i listed about 60 uh, issues uh, that have been faced by the community so i started uh, writing articles on each of the uh, issue so now just completed uh, this book of uh, 60 article vidyarthala jeevitalak vijay deepika which talks about the various issues each article will have uh, <coughs> questions answer and explain a brief explanation one uh, true story one uh, uh, inspiring story a uh, couple of photographs one uh, you know tips for uh, their things uh, and this is how it is happening and then every month uh, from 25th to 1st uh, we keep uh, engaged ourselves uh, in publishing this newsletter every month uh, you know which will go in to 50000 people through various mediums uh. so this is again uh, edited uh, copied uh, with the theme of people and wow. all that is will be it so this is how i am so but still if there is something uh, i should say i should be more into godly uh, you know way i am trying to in you know mold myself because 50 years crossing i should also be spiritual i am right now spiritual for me spirituality is uh, living real for the people's need but i, I do understand real spirituality i should go this is what is the plan With all this experience uh, you know in running the ngo and you know uh, serving back to the society what would you do if you become the one minute chief minister what are the positive reforms you would focus on it's like I, when i have seen one minute cm in the poster i really felt it is not chief minister i felt it is a common man if i am a common man what do i expect
if i am a common man what do i expect from the chief minister right. so i just tell you what all things are bothering me and again i am connecting them to our acronym of hark or oh, whoever is the chief minister even if i am chief minister i will take up the matters relating to quality education at free of cost no more uh, corporatization no more uh, you know minting money is and uh, quality education in institutions infrastructure no more uh, you know like this uh, somebody coming and lending hands and nadu nedu then and now no there must be responsibility a number uh, second one first one is uh, education second uh, is health quality health at free of cost or nominal cost no pre approved budgets no more uh, you know corporatized you know there must be that sort of people also will be there but uh, the in, uh, government is responsible for such thing and then uh, uh, assurance of corruption free environment in, in my government there must be a transparent uh, report every month uh, report be there appearing in their websites uh, their whatsapp group uh, their uh, you know social medias this is what i promised this is what i did should be there there must be questionable uh, thing like you know five years plan if they don't have plan don't come to politics don't come for uh, you know uh, earning uh, money is be there for earning uh, life ante batikinappudu chachin tarvata batike pannu cheskovali ledante manam batikina chachinatte one has to live after death not dying every day even while during the life so this must be the spirit of a chief minister and awareness must be there what are all the schemes that so many schemes are there but many people are not aware i will keep somebody to work on such things and then rural development transformation you know that must be my one more task that the entire village every village has to be tagged with somebody tagged with somebody is not like sri mantu you know cinema it is something beyond don't don't just go there and light the road and paint the you know that is not the case you should start living weekly once in that village you should own it you should own it and that must be rural development the entire village is responsible every government fellow has to engage himself every you know rich fellow has to engage every corporate fellow has to engage if they don't know where to go we will have a list for all the villages uh, need to be tagged to be tagged now. and uh, no political uh, inter- inter- intervention with uh, any you know uh, uh, prayer uh, establishments temples or it should be beyond uh, those temples those prayer halls those uh, you know uh, centers of prayer must engage with their resources to the community work apart from uh, spreading the dharma dharma kama uh, dharma rakshita rakshida is okay but uh, dharma is uh, dharma includes doing charity for the community so that must be the situation these are all the again this comes under heart h e a r t heart then only the state will be transformed into a better place to live and uh, even if you lose after 5 years no worry you have done enough good work uh, people will remember and uh, history will remember history means uh, not h i s t o r y history history means h i s t o r y history is a story in the pages of uh, you know the uh, world super well said i i think this is very apt and very energetic reforms that anybody can bring in thank you sir it's a very uh, it's very nice uh, knowing you as a person and that that is the show all about and uh, you you've been very honest very frank and uh, no, no frills around uh, whatever you said especially a lot of people would say i'm doing this i'm doing yoga and all that you you have frankly admitted that your friends and you know family members have forced you to you know get into this particular phase work on yourself uh, you know a lot lot of people cannot do that uh, in front of media so thank thanks a lot for uh, sharing all your insights your journey and uh, especially about you how how you feel about things how uh, you felt about uh, some of the uh, experiences which you had during the entire journey because all of these are experiences certain things certain learnings for all the ngos around people around because there are people like me who can like you know just support uh, might not uh, be 
having the courage to start an NGO and run it on their own, but, you know, ready to support multiple NGOs and, you know, the capacity, spread the awareness and all that. There are people who can, you know, just do donations as a one-time activity. There are people who feel that, okay, service is not their cup of tea and, you know, they feel that uh, <laughs> let people do whatever they do. There are two things uh, you, you touched. One is donation. One is uh, this is not my cup of tea. I just will give you a brief insight. Whoever doing donation, please remember they are not doing donation. They are doing it for nation. Do for nation, nation. donation. Don't do casually. You do it so much of love and spirit in the heart. Whatever paisa you give, that must be translated into smiles on somebody's face. Do it for nation. Then it becomes true donation. That is first thing. Second thing is the this is not my cup of tea service. Couple of uh, you know. Okay. Couple yep. of days I received a message through my WhatsApp, sharing the things through WhatsApp. So one fellow is a chartered accountant working for a big company, MNC. He said, "Swami, uh, please." Uh, don't uh, share so much of uh, stuff, uh, Swamiji. I, I have my, uh, you know, uh, profession. I have my family to take care. I have no time for this, he said. I was a little pain. I said, my dear, uh, you know, uh, you should also spare some time for the community. No, 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 that is not my cake. So I told, if you are bothering about your family, that is right. But I am, I too uh, is bothering about my family. My family includes you. So I am bothering about you. I am sharing with you. If you really don't want me to share, please block me. That's how I said. See, he is my family. So everybody should say, Jagamanta Kutumam. Today, the pandemic made us to think insightful, correct? Yeah. Very everybody good. should think that it is not just family. It is beyond that. Services, service must be the part of every bit of life. Don't say service is not a part of my life, not my cake. No, 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 no. Yeah. There, right. there are five things in every personality. One is a personal level. Second is family level. Third is a professional level. Fourth is society level. Fifth is spiritual level. These five things are undisputable parts of each life. If you don't do now, Nature will bend you and make you to do certain things at the appropriate time. True. I, I completely agree with that. <laughs> I have seen cases like that where, you know, things have changed and, you know, nature and time has taught them, you know, the importance of others, family and, you know, service to the nation. So thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for joining in. So friends, uh, you know, whoever is not connected seeing uh, uh, Mr. Balchandra for the first time, do follow him he's on um, you know facebook and uh, instagram and uh, he also shares his thoughts occasionally on what his uh, opinions are on individual topics uh, and abhya foundation you know that it is well settled so any friends out there who wants to be part of it you know in either ways we discussed about whether you want to be an individual contributor you want to contribute regularly or be part of it uh, part of the initiative uh, giving time not always money is important time is also important certain time so any of these things uh, do connect and uh, yeah spread the word out if you're also into an ngo maybe this session is for you to learn and uh, you can actually also take uh, mr balchandra's uh, support in terms of sustaining your ngo because that is also important you might be doing it from somewhere in a different location altogether and uh, some of these successful uh, organizations uh, Motto is also if they can spread news out and, you know, share knowledge where the other NGOs are also becoming sustainable because of Abaya. So thank you, friends, for joining in. Have a great Friday ahead. Uh, thank you, sir. It was wonderful meeting you. Namaskar. Namaskar.